Okay, so here we have an intermediate level question relating to the concept of a security market line. Uh, it's a multiple choice and it's asking us to pick the best answer. Um, so the question is the security market line is A, um, the line that describes the expected return beta relationship for well diversified portfolios only. B, it's also called the capital allocation line. C, uh, the line that is tangent to the efficient frontier of all risky assets. The line that represents the expected return beta relationship, or E, the line that represents the relationship between an individual securities return and the market return. So let's look at our options again and see if we can eliminate some um, right away without having to refer to the security market line equation. You'll know that B um, refers to the security ma market line as the capital allocation line. We know that is incorrect because the capital allocation line um, is the capital market line, so we can eliminate B right away. Uh, next answer, C, the line that's tangent to the efficient frontier. Well, you should know that the line that is tangent to the efficient frontier is, again, the capital market line um, and not the security market line, so we can eliminate C as well. Now we are left with uh, A, D, and E. So A is the expected return beta relationship for well diversified portfolios. D is the expected return beta relationship. And E is a uh, relationship between market return and the individual securities return. So they all sound um, somewhat correct. So let's just refer back to the security market line equation and uh, see if that can help us eliminate some of these options. So we know that the security market line equation is expected return on an individual security is equal to the risk-free return plus beta times the risk premium. So expected market return minus risk-free rate. And that equation should define the expected return for all of risky assets um, as well as risk-free assets because the beta for risk-free assets is zero. So having said that, let's look at a line that describes expected return beta relationship for well diversified portfolios only. Well, we do know that SML does describe the relationship between the expected return, which is ER, and beta. But we also know that this applies to all of the risky assets, not just the well diversified portfolios. So we can eliminate A. Next, um, let's look at E. So E line that represents the relationship between the individual security return and the market return. That is partially correct because, as you can see, the SML line describes, it does describe the relationship between expected return on an individual security and the market return, but it's incomplete. So there are more um, elements at play, so we can eliminate E as well. Um, finally, we're left with D, so that's, that seems to be our only option. Let's just check that it's correct. So answer D is line that represents the expected return beta relationship. Um, well, we have the expected return. We know that beta is a very important part of our equation in the security market line because beta will define the expected return based on um, the market risk premium. So D is our correct answer. Security market line is the line that represents the expected return versus beta relationship.